Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocksteady. This is Tracy and uh, this is a little unboxing. Now my partner Gary recently bought me a couple of little heaters and uh, they were for my Yarnavan, which if you don't know what that is, recently, well, it took quite a while, but we converted an old caravan into a, a kind of a, a space for me to have all my craft equipment and my shop stuff because... Um, I have a shop, which is www.hobbyvox.co.uk. There's a link in the bottom to it. And quite often voucher codes in the bottom of videos as well. Um, but anyway, um, that space was converted from a, a dilapidated caravan. Um, it took quite a long time and I did catalogue it. So those of you who might have seen that will know what I'm talking about. If not, there are lots of videos showing the gradual conversion. But... It was cold out there. Um, it's not heated at all. There was no, we took out any kind of heaters that were in there um, because they were old and they were a bit smelly because it was, you know, standing idle for more years than I've been alive, probably. It was used occasionally, but um, so everything was gutted from the inside and new walls, new floor, new ceiling and everything so uh, there were no heaters in there and it gets quite warm in there when the sun beats down on it but it's been very cold lately so he bought me a couple of heaters because um, I do go out there and do a few bits and pieces now and then and I wanted to um, do some filming out there as well and I do have a freestanding air conditioning stroke heating unit but it does cost quite a bit to run. And with the economy the way it is and the energy costs, um, we wanted a low cost kind of way of heating. So he bought me these couple of little heaters and one of them I've used already. So this is the second one. I wanted to use it first so that when I spoke about it, I could speak with some kind of authority that it was going to, what it, what it was about. So this is, believe it or not, I think one from um, a Dunelm eater with a Dunelm heater. <laughs> I'm trying to get, not say helm, Dunelm, which is a shop in the UK, um, for those of you who watch me from overseas. And this heater goes flying off the shelves if they have it. So it is available in other places, uh, which is, I think Gary got it online for me. So it is a remote control, but I will say um, the remote control from the one that I've used hasn't worked. Now, this could be that the batteries we put in it were not up to standard, but I don't know if Gary tried more than one. Um, but it is remote control. It's supposed to be very, very cheap to run. It's a 500 watt. Um, it's got a timer, auto power off and two speeds. And as you can see there, temperature is between 15 to 32 degrees. So let's get it out and have a little look and I will tell you more about it. So it's a quite a, a sweet little heater. The only drawback that I can see for, um, there are a lot of these kind of little heaters around, but this one plugs straight into a socket. So if you don't have worktop plug sockets, then, you know, you're, you're kind of uh, only going to be able to put that in maybe under a desk or wherever your plug socket happens to be, because it does state that you shouldn't use them in an extension lead. I do have an extension lead, but I didn't use it in there. So this is what it looks like. It's got a control on the side. It just comes with a standard kind of UK plug. And there's all the little gizmo inside. And it's not very big, as you can see. There's all the vents where the um, air comes out. And we've got a ceramic um, heater there. So it it's not hot to touch everywhere. There are cool places to touch. This is the remote control, does not come with batteries. Um, I will try this one out. Um, I will find some batteries that I know are brand new in the pack and I will try this one out. Um, 
you can see you can do the timer, the temperature up and down and the speed of the actual fan. It's got a couple of speeds. So this is the instruction book. Well, it's a manual, but, you know, let's just see. A manual. I would prefer to call it a leaflet myself. Um, yeah, it's not very much. I mean, to be honest with you, it's plug it in, switch it on. There's a little thing that says up and down. This is the... Um, you can kind of get what it's all about. This is a power button. You switch it on and off with this one here. Um, you've got temperature up and down. You can see what that clearly says. This is the timer button. So it's just, you know, ever so easy to operate. That's why it just comes with an, an instruction manual, which is a leaflet. So looking online... I did a, a kind of a big old Google search. Let's just go down a bit. Um, this ranged from 14 pence per hour to use to 17 pence per hour. But then I guess it depends what the cost of energy was when they wrote that. So at one point, energy cost whatever it did, and it cost 14 pence an hour to run. A little while later, it cost 17 pence an hour to run. Um, energy prices have risen 20%, so that kind of makes sense. Um, now, this is only good for a small room. As you can see, it's not going to heat a massive space. You can see that just by looking at it. But it says it's great for a small room, reaches 32 degrees, small, lightweight plug-in, adjustable speeds, turn off when it's at the temperature, it's clean and odourless, which it is, Low cost, minimum run cost, so it doesn't cost much to buy. Now, I looked online and you can get these between £10 and £20 um, and everything in between. Uh, the voltage is 110 watts to 220 volts. The power is 500 watts. So it says 15 degrees to 32 degrees. Okay. Um, Google. I did have a Google and there were a couple of different charts for room temperatures and it said if you want to heat a 20 square feet room then a 250 watt um, for a poorly insulated room and a 250 watt for one that is well insulated would be adequate but 40 square feet will do 500 watts so this is meant to do a room that is 50 for sorry 40 square feet another chart did say 50 square feet um, but that's only a, like 10 more square feet, but that's what the other chart said. For a 60 square foot, you want 750. Um, but for a, a fully insulated room, that can drop down to a 450, which this should then do, shouldn't it? If it's very well insulated. 80 square foot, you need a 1,000 watts. And for a fully insulated, that's poorly insulated. So for a fully insulated, 750. OK, it's meant to have all of that functionality. So my, my yarn van is 30 foot long by 10 foot wide. So we've got two of these now because, you know, it's a long room and one wouldn't really um, reach everywhere. So if I wanted to, I could plug one in one end and one in the other and it should be fully sufficient to heat the room. You don't need the remote control. If you can reach this, it's all there. So I'm not too fussed about the other remote control not working, which it very well may do if I put more batteries in, but um, I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, once I've used it, if um, I can remember to, I'll put a little update in the description box of this video to let you know if that remote control works. But as I've got two of them, even if it doesn't, I'm sure this one will do both. So um, that's if this one works. So I will update and let you all know in the description box once I've used it for a while. So I did use the other one. Like I said, I um, unboxed that, I plugged it in and I worked out there for a little while. And I have to say, I was working okay without a cardigan on and it did heat up the room. It's not as cold at the moment as it has been. It's fully... Um, the sun is shining, should I say, um, but it is still fresh and pretty chilly out there. The, one of these did actually heat up my little workspace. 
but I only worked at one end of the Yana van, not the other end. And as I said, it's 30 feet long and 10 foot wide. So uh, I will, I think, definitely need two of them um, when it's really, really cold and I'm using the whole of the space. But that's my uh, little unboxing and my review anyway. I was quite pleased with it. It did not throw out masses of heat. It's this big, you know. I've seen um, reviews on some of the sites where these are sold and you there's a lot of people saying it really worked well, he heated up my very small room nicely. Others are saying it was rubbish because it didn't make it um, heat it up at all. You know, I think it really does depend on what kind of person you are. Now, this heats me up nicely, but I'm not the sort of person who likes to be really hot. Um, there, are, I've worked with people in the past who put pullovers and cardigans and fleeces on when I work in a T-shirt. So I think if you're that cold-blooded, this isn't for you. Um, but if you're like me and you, you can, you're not really um, the sort of person who likes to be over hot, it works good enough to work in the space. Um, I will use it some more. Um, I will use both of them when I can. And um, I'll put a little note in the bottom, as I said, about the remote control and what I think of them. But for the little bit that I did use the other one in readiness to make this, I actually did think it was quite cool. So you can get this online, as I said, and all I put in to find those Google results were plug-in low-cost uh, heater. And I found it because, as you can say, the box does not give you um, a brand. It just says portable heater. Um, let's see what it says on here. But when I did put in, these ones came up as Dunelm heater. Again, no brand in, but it just came up Dunin, Dunelm heater. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, stay safe and take care and I'll see you on the next one. And uh, I will try my best to update what this um, runs like and uh, whether this actually does work. Bye for now, everyone.